Imagine a tank that can accelerate to 70 kilometers per hour, cross rivers, and destroy enemies from a great distance. This is not science fiction but a real combat monster. The South Korean K-2 Black Panther. One of the most modern and deadly tanks in the world. But what makes it so powerful? Watch this video until the end, and you'll find out why this tank is compared to the best combat vehicles of the 21st century. South Korea did not always have its own tanks. In the 1980s, the country used American M48S and its own K1S, which were based on American technology. However, by the early 1990s, it became clear that these tanks would struggle to compete with new models from China and Russia. That's when the South Korean government decided to create its own combat vehicle that could surpass all regional counterparts. Development began in 1995. Engineers faced a tough challenge, not just to build a new tank, but to make one that would meet the most advanced standards. Western technologies were taken as a basis, but the K-2 was supposed to surpass even the latest NATO models. Work on the project lasted more than 15 years, and in 2013, the K-2 Black Panther entered service with the South Korean Army. The first thing that catches your eye is its appearance. It looks powerful and aggressive, but the most important features are hidden inside. The K-2's main weapon is a 120mm smoothbore gun capable of firing not only standard shells but also guided missiles. This means it can destroy targets at a distance of up to 8 kilometers. For comparison, most NATO tanks have an effective firing range of about 4 kilometers. But the gun is not the only thing that makes the K-2 so formidable. It features one of the most advanced fire control systems. This allows the gunner to detect and engage targets even in complete darkness and poor visibility. Built-in thermal imagers, laser rangefinders, and computers make it a virtually smart tank capable of locating enemies autonomously. Another impressive feature is its automatic loading system. In most modern tanks, ammunition is loaded manually, requiring a fourth crew member, the loader. But in the K-2, this process is fully automated, not only speeding up firing but also reducing the crew size to three. The K-2's protection is another highlight. It is covered with multi-layer composite armor that combines ceramics, metal, and other materials. This makes it resistant to armor-piercing shells and shaped charge warheads. And if that's not enough, it has an active protection system capable of intercepting missiles before they even hit the tank. What about mobility? The K-2 is equipped with a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine, allowing it to accelerate to 70 km per hour on roads and up to 50 km per hour on rough terrain. It can cross 3 meter wide trenches, climb 30 degree slopes, and even ford water obstacles up to 4 meters deep using special equipment. Now imagine this scenario, the tank enters a dangerous zone where the enemy might use mines. The K-2 has a unique system that allows it to crouch, reducing ground pressure. This lowers the chance of triggering mines and makes it harder for the enemy to detect. Additionally, the K-2 can share data with other combat vehicles. If one tank detects an enemy, the information is instantly transmitted to all allied units. This creates a unified battlefield where all participants are aware of the enemy's location in real time. South Korea is not only using this tank domestically but is also actively selling it abroad. In 2022, Poland signed a contract to purchase hundreds of K-2S, modified for local conditions. This shows how desirable this tank is, even in countries with access to NATO technology. However, despite all its advantages, the K-2 is an extremely expensive machine. One tank costs around $8.5 million, making it more expensive than the American Abrams or the German Leopard 2. However, for this price, countries get one of the most advanced combat machines, capable of countering even the most modern threats. What does the future hold? 
South Korea is already working on upgrading the K-2, planning to enhance its armor, improve electronic systems and integrate new weaponry. Perhaps in a few years, we will see an updated version of this tank that is even more powerful and technologically advanced. The K-2 Black Panther is an example of how modern technology can redefine armored warfare. It combines speed, firepower, and protection while remaining one of the most innovative tanks in the world. South Korea has created a machine that can compete with the best tanks on the planet. If you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to our channel. We regularly post interesting reviews of military equipment, stories of legendary tanks, and much more. Give us a like if you think the K-2 is a worthy competitor to Western and Russian tanks. And in the comments, let us know which tank you think is the most powerful in the world. Your opinion matters to us and we'd love to discuss it in future episodes.